pick a number nine or 41 and pop it in the comments below and come back and listen to your beautiful message here today. Hi, I'm Julie Geigel, spiritual life coach, psychic medium, trance channeler for Archangel Metatron, who's come here today to share some beautiful messages of wisdom and inspiration. So if you picked nine, nine is all about service. Are you just going through the motions? You know, sometimes we get into too much of a rut, a routine, and um, life just gets really mundane. So if you pick nine, you are definitely a light worker. You have a bigger purpose here on this planet. Uh, it is time to shine your light and serve in ways that help humanity. So the three main messages with nine are number one, trust yourself. You're getting uh, divine guidance, divine messages to maybe uh, shift something in your life, typically it's career, or to go above and beyond. So that comes in to message number two, which is about humanitarian activities. So you're really being called to dive in and get dirty, if you will. Um, maybe it's in politics, or maybe it's starting up your own nonprofit charity, or contributing um, time, treasure, talents, if you will, to other charities that are helping the planet. Uh, so be aware of conditions and struggles that are occurring, and maybe how you can help. And message number three is all about empathy, really putting yourself in other people's shoes and not judging, you know, no judgment zone. And um, this enables you when you come from that place of empathy, it enables you to serve in a way that is beneficial for everybody involved, right? Um, I know it's really important when we're giving of our time, treasure, and talents that we're not feeling resentful or we're not doing it out of guilt um, because that can actually backfire on us. Make sure that your heart is pure. Um, make sure that you're doing this for joy, no attachments, um, no expectations, and that's going to reward you the most. I love that idea that every time we give, we receive tenfold. It puts 10 times that much in our karma bank in the sky, if you will. It's um, such a beautiful thought. And I know personally, I've experienced that in my life and I've heard that um, others have as well. So make sure you have that pure heart when you are serving. Now, Again, the energy of nine is service. It's also endings, time to wrap it up, close it down, um, stop hanging on. And it is also about life purpose. So if you're feeling like you're just being blown about in the wind and you're not really going anywhere, it's time for you to uh, get on track, uh, stop wasting your life. <laughs> and do do what uh, brings you joy and passion in your heart absolutely all right now in terms of love <laughs> let your heart guide you so don't delay listen and trust this isn't about making mental um sense of everything that's going on this is about really uh, throwing that out the window and moving toward uh, where your heart is guiding you to go. So sometimes that is uh, when we can step into that flow of uh, letting our heart lead us, it can open up some really exciting opportunities. So you're being asked to do that in terms of love. So whether you're with someone or you're single, uh, this is about not overthinking things and really making decisions and taking action from your heart. Absolutely. Releasing critical thoughts, 
judgmental, um, letting all of that go, finding the love that you are to share with the world. <laughs> all right, now here's your awesome affirmation. Don't forget to drop it in the comments below. It adds that extra punch that we can all use right now. Absolutely. I step up to serve humanity in a deeper and more profound way. I step up to serve humanity in a deeper and more profound way. I know one of my favorite all-time affirmations that I look at every day, and I got it from Oprah Winfrey, is use me, Lord, for a purpose greater than myself. So our affirmation today really reminds me of that. All right. So if you picked 41, it is all about discipline. <laughs> Are you an underachiever? Uh, do you do just enough to get by? Well, your team, the angels are here to tell you to stop. The party's over. Turn Netflix off. <laughs> Turn the TV off. It's time to get to work. Shut your device down. So this is an action card. You know, some cards are about uh, pausing, taking a step back. Um, but this card specifically is about taking action and meeting the universe halfway, right? So we throw out our intentions, our set our goals, and then some of you just sit back and you're like, well, <laughs> I'm just going to wait for it to happen. Um, and you know, if that's working for you, <laughs> more power to you. Um, but a lot of times that doesn't have the punch that you need to get it going. So the angels are telling you that you need to meet the universe halfway. You need to meet God halfway. You need to do some work to move you toward that goal. Uh, do not overlook this. So it's super important uh, to clarify what you want, to set your goals you know, they say that those people who set goals achieve more in their life, they're more successful, they're happier, and um, there's, you know, more ease and flow in their life. I'm a huge goal setter. I think that comes from my teaching days. I used to be a school teacher, and uh, I set goals with every full moon. Speaking of the full moon, we offer a free full moon meetup every month. We'd love to have you join us. You can learn more about that over on our website at heavensenthealing.us. And 41 is about planning, prioritizing, organizing. It's a great time to declutter all areas of your life and becoming aware of um, how you're sabotaging yourself. So what are the doubts or the worries or the fears that are consuming you that are creating blocks in your life, preventing you from being able to move forward, honestly? Um, so when we look at the numbers, we have four and we have one for the angels are with you. You have extra divine guidance and stability. The angels bring stability. I love that. And then one is always an amazing uh, number because it's make a wish. Whenever I see one, I think make a wish. <laughs> it's like that. Um, uh, yeah. The make a wish um, plant. I forget what that's called, <laughs> um, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So one is also about motivation. You're having this extra punch to do something, right? You uh, Desire's been planted in your heart and it's time for you to move toward that. Now, when we add four plus one, we get five. And you all know five is that big number change. A lot of people don't like five. Um, Big changes are coming when you honor this, when you become more disciplined in your life, more focused and have more purpose. Absolutely. Uh, in terms of love, this is about uh, feeling inspired to be your best, feeling inspired and motivated to do better, to want more in your relationship and to show 
up, right? It's one thing to want it. It's another thing to actually show up for the changes that you want and um, take action to do something different to get those changes. Because if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to continue to get what you've gotten. <laughs> so simple. But oftentimes we forget about that, right? And um, 41 is also, you know, if you are wounded in the romance department, it is time to heal. It is time to mend those wounds and begin to finally let love in again. So whether that means um, seeking a new counselor or a life coach like me um, to help you mend some of those wounds, the, the time is now. The time is now. All right, here's your off awesome affirmation with the right attitude and discipline, I can achieve all of my goals. With the right attitude and discipline, I can achieve all of my goals. Make sure to drop that in the comments below. Again, it adds some extra punch. It helps us in the algorithm. Uh, we truly appreciate you, your support on our channel. Hit that like button, a comment below. Uh, we love to interact and see you here. And if you loved these messages today, don't forget to share with a friend. And uh, if you love these messages today, you're going to love working with me. I have uh, an opening in our Diamond Spiritual Mentorship Program. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can find me over at heavensenthealing.us forward slash call. And we can jump on a free discovery call and you can learn more about that program. All right. And don't forget while you're over there, stop on our, stop at our blog. This month's free meditation is goal setting. It's a good one. So you're not going to want to miss that. All right, everyone make it a beautiful and blessed day. Mwah! See you next time.